Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how you can easily use Clock Shark. So the first thing that you want to do is click here, try Clock Shark free. Then you're going to be right here. So I'll just add here my first name, last name, email address and password. So next step, business phone. So I can simply add here my phone number. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to add it like this. Company name is going to be industry, accounting, bookkeeping, number of employees, one to 10. And then go to my dashboard. Now we'll just wait until it loads. And okay, as you can see, let's start Marcus. But you can also use it with the app here. Or you can simply uh, see it right here. So what you need to do, you can add employee here. You're going to see the time here, schedules. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. I got like employ myself here. What I can simply do is I just click to employees two here. So you're going to have like time here, time sheets, work, customers, jobs, tasks, quotes, invoices, admin, and simply you can add here employees, departments, locations. Let's start right here. So in admin, you can set up all your company information here, billing and payment, company you can change here things and then you're gonna have employees so let's first add some employee here so i would just click here add employee first name marcus last name employee email address password Role employee or administrator, best pay rate, we can go 15. Employee ID. And then you can allow job adding from mobile. And you can have like, like permissions here. And then you can have like manage permissions. So you can allow clocking for the others. Like what the manager allow this employee to perform management functions for a specific set of employees. So let's say that this employee would have also options to view timesheets to approve time and plenty of like permissions that you can choose. And that for only he can see it or for everyone an employee. Something is wrong here. Add employee. So we got a new employee. Then what you can do under employees, you're going to see departments. You can simply click departments and then you can add department here. Name marketing employee. I'm going to choose employee Marcus Add department. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, then when we have it, you can have locations here under departments. Click on it too and uh, you can add location employee add location so here when we have the location we have the employees we have departments you can simply use mobile app or you can simply create jobs here it's under work And you can have like jobs, tasks, quotes, invoices, customers. So you can simply add a job here. And now, okay, let me explain you the process now. So when you would come here to work, you can have customers, jobs, tasks, quotes, invoices. In time, you would be simply creating schedules for your employees. In work, when I'm going to click customer, let's first add a customer. First name, Marcus customer 
You can also switch between individual and business, street. This is a street. You can add like city here. We can add like this city Memphis. Postal code, zip code, like this. Phone, email, you can create customer here. And voila, here we have it, right? So when you have the customer, you would come to the jobs. And you would simply click add a job on the right side. And now painting number one stage ready to be scheduled in progress, complete, canceled or hold new customer Marcus customer. And then we will have like address here that I can add. And then you like additional settings here for the job. And you can add also like enable GPS for it so that's something you can do right so when i would come here to the jobs i can clearly see the painting right here and that's good and then under jobs we're gonna see tasks here Again, I can simply add a task. So name can be do the job task code. I don't have one and I can have like access control for the task to like my own my employees. I can have like overtime time using this task will not be counted towards overtime calculations out of bound. And then you will like build right here. If you want to save. And then I would have like, needs to do the job, task is done. And then we're gonna have like quotes here. And in quotes, you can add a quote. Pretty straightforward. Who do you want to email to? These are like simple things that you need to like add. Then you're gonna have like invoices here. That you can create and add an invoice. So that's something you can do. And time you would have like schedules, add a shift, marketing, job, painting, task, other notes and then I would like uh, all day or repeat completely up to you and just like choose when you want to add the shift and that's pretty much it how we do it so this is pretty straightforward tutorial how you can use clock shark guys I wanted to make this like quick walk for what you need to do then you're gonna have like policies and timesheets view where you will see all the work that needs to be done then requests and that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.